Mr. Bingo is a decades old and much loved part of Christmas here in New Orleans. Definitely one of my favorite elements yep. of the season. And to spread a little cheer ahead of the holiday, we're going back in our archives. WWL TV legend Frank Davis takes us to Canal Street, where Mr. Bingo was once a shining symbol of the holiday season. See, you got Santa and Frosty and Rudolph and Holly and Mistletoe, all traditional symbols of Christmas, right? But here in New Orleans, we got a special tradition of Christmas that's been around for about 40 years. Look at this, Mr. Bingo. Right. He is Christmas. <laughs> Mr. Bingle is just loved by the children, so um, they just they see him, they want to hug him, they just run up to him, and he really is almost as important as Santa. It signified when uh, the Christmas season was getting ready to start, when they put Mr. Bingle out. Maison Blanche has him up there every year. <laughs> he comes around every Christmas. Okay, now look, here's the deal, see? Back in 1948, Mr. Bingle began as a piece of graphic artwork for a Maison Blanche ad. And then along comes a man named Oscar Eisentrout. And Oscar gives him a voice, and he gives him animation, and he gives New Orleans a tradition. Now that's what Maison Blanche tells us, okay? That's not what New Orleanians believe, right? No. Nah. See, they believe that Santa followed him in the snow and put an ice cream cone on his head and gave him little holly wings so he could fly in a, in a magic cane. And, and, and he sang a jingle, so he called him Mr. Bingle. That's what I believe. I don't care what y'all believe. Actually, the whole city of New Orleans believes in Mr. Bingle, because as kids, we grew up with him. He was there every Christmas, performing either in the Canal Street window at Maison Blanche or on television every evening at 5.30 during Christmas season. And back then, everybody could sing the Mr. Bingle jingle. Jingle, 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 Mr. Jingle, I don't know. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Here comes Mr. Mr. Bingo. Mr. Bingo. Oh, yeah, I knew that much. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Here comes Mr. Bingo. I don't know the rest. <laughs> jingle, jingle, jingle. That was the stupidest song and got on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> so this Christmas, let's don't forget about Santa and Frosty and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But here in New Orleans, let's don't forget about Mr. Bingle either. Because I'm Frank Davis for Channel 4 Eyewitness News. And like me, this guy is naturally New Orleans. Hey, Mr. Bingle, can you handle my Christmas list for me? I mean, can you give it to Santa Claus? See what I need is I need a new ride and reel, and I want some pots and pans. Hey, and I'm getting kind of big around the belly. How about a Jane Fonda record? Huh? Or Richard Simmons, it don't matter. He's a New Orleans boy, you know what I mean? I have such good memories of that era in, in oh New Orleans. I mean, Jane Fonda Yeah, people who miss that, uh, they're, they're mm. just, it, was a, it was kind of a different city at the time. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we always look back at things much better than maybe they really were, so. Yeah. We love time. Mr. Bingle. And, My daughter scared to Mr. Bingle every year, so, oh yeah, that reporting, that yeah. was great. No, 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 that's not what we believe in New Orleans. All right, <laughs> let's throw it into the Frank Davis kitchen now. Uh.